you've made it to the last installment of the cranial nerve assessment series. Let's cover the final cranial nerves, 11 and 12, by the story of assessment attending a circus to get away from his assessments, but the brainstems have other plans. Cranial nerve 11, also known as the spinal accessory nerve, and depicted as the brainstem pushing the 11 wheelchair with accessories, is a motor nerve responsible for head turning and shoulder shrugging. This nerve can be assessed by first examining the sternocleidomastoid muscles, depicted as the sternum clavicle mustard. This examination involves having the patient turn their head against pressure applied from your hand to one side, then repeat on the other. Both sides should be equal. Secondly, assess this nerve by examining the trapezius muscles depicted by the trapeze artist. Perform this examination by asking the patient to lift their shoulders up while you apply downward pressure and resistance. Cranial nerve 12, the hypoglossal nerve, shown in this picmonic as the brainstem with V12 motor and hippoglass, is also at the show. Cranial nerve 12 is a motor nerve that is responsible for tongue movement. This nerve can be assessed by inspecting the tongue, depicted literally. Ask the patient to push their tongue out, ensuring the movement is midline and the tongue does not deviate to the side. You can also note lingual speech, depicted as the linguini speech, by having the patient say words with the letters L, T, D, and N. Note any words that are not clear or well defined. So, in summary, cranial nerves 11 and 12 are known as the spinal accessory nerve and the hypoglossal nerve, respectively. Assess these nerves by determining a patient's head turning and shoulder shrugging abilities, in addition to tongue movement and lingual speech. I thought I had finally broken away from all those needy brain stems and could enjoy an entertaining show at the circus. However, no sooner had I arrived than I heard. Assessman, can you help me by being the first audience participant in my circus? It was an accessory-clad brainstem, and before I could answer, he whisked me away in a wheelchair toward the center ring. Oh, no! Out of all the circuses I could have chosen, this was the brainstem circus. In the ring, mustard suddenly struck me and dripped down my sternum and clavicle. I looked up and saw that a trapeze artist had squirted it on me. A weird circus act indeed. Before I had time to think, I saw an enormous circus animal headed my way. It wasn't a lion, oh no. It was a V12 motor hippo made of glass. And the hippo tamer was Brainstem 12. Luckily for me, the hippo wasn't aggressive at all. However, the Brainstem did need some help. He stuck his tongue out, so I inspected it. All he could muster was... Help! For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our head-to-toe assessments Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from cognitive abilities assessment, cerebellar assessment, skull, scalp, and hair assessment, head, face, and neck assessment, eye assessment, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.